Greetings again, YouTubers. It's been a while since I've been on the microphone because I came down sick. Yeah, I had that nasty Washingtonian bug that, like, takes your voice away and holds it for ransom. But uh, I'm back here. I'm taking a look at a favorite shitty game. Yeah, Ghostbusters for the NES. Now, when I was a kid, I had this thing on the Atari 2600 amongst other consoles. But anyhow... We're just going to jump right into it. I'll try to explain my best along the way. And, uh, beware the suck. Man, what is with the slowdown right now? There we go. So first thing we have to do, we've got no equipment. We can't do shit. We have to go shopping. So we're going to pick up a few things. <clears throat> we're going to pick up ghost alarms so we know where the little buggers are coming from. A couple traps. <coughs> Excuse me. That's going to happen now and then because of, you know, sick and all. Having been. Um, hopefully it's not contagious enough to y'all folks out there listening. <laughs> That's a little joke, see. Um, no vacuum because screw those little bastards on the street. I suck at picking them up anyway. Alright, so now we actually go bust some ghosts. We need to make 20 grand so we can make it inside the Zool building and beat the hell out of us a villain, right? So, more details on that later. But anybody that's actually watching this probably already knows what's going to go on once we get there. Forgive me if I still decide to explain anyway, because what the hell. God, give me the stupid ghost. Thank you. And then, trap. Ah, easy money. Three grand. Oh, Lord, slow down. What is going on? Yeah, notice I'm not really getting too much effort into the driving scenes. You also won't see me fueling up at all because the trip to the gas station is often longer than the actual effort in pushing the car to the gas station when it runs out of gas. But come on, buddy. Come on, you little shit. Are you seriously going to do this? Thank you. Into the trap, sons of bitches. <laughs> yeah. Mostly, I'm going to try to run over these guys just to stall them and slow down my, the, the PK crawl. It's at 140 right now. Basically, I've got until the PK meter hits 99.99 to finish the game. It shouldn't even take that long, though. I just need to get 20 grand to actually get entry into the Zool building, plus the price of whatever equipment I need to bring in with me, which is preferably a hyper beam and some ghost food. Because uh, that fight with Gozer and stay puffed at the top is going to be a bit tedious if I have to, if I don't have the range of the hyper beam. Man. Alright. Yeah, you got three of them. If I can get this one to go anywhere near the trap, I'll be golden. Got him. There we go. 10,800. I think I'm going to shoot for like 30 or 40 grand. Should cost me yeah, 12 grand for the uh, hyper beam two, two grand each for ghost food if I remember right probably want three or four of those so I should be able to make this trip on 40 grand hopefully this video won't be too long and too tedious because sadly that's what this freaking game is whole bunch of the same shit would it have killed them to break it up with another little mini game well I don't know but I sure as hell want to get the hell in there before stay puff the marshmallow man and start squishing the city blocks and that happens about halfway to 99.99. Stay puffed will come out like three or four times. There's not a hell of a lot you can do to stop him, and it costs you two grand every time you fail to catch him. Oh, crap. Like they say, never cross the streams. That is bad. Just head over here and see if I can do better for myself. Yeah, so I need you. Now, the Atari 2600 version of the game was... The ending was different, obviously. Um, where all you had to do was be able to run underneath Stay Puff while he was jumping around. It was stupid hard and weird. Especially given that the joystick wasn't exactly the most sensitive of controllers on the planet. Um, I think of the dozens of times I've played the Atari version, I've beaten it all of once. Oh, that's what's going on. My computer's trying to restart itself. 
<laughs> it did update. All right. Well, not going to be a problem. I just postponed the update. There we go. Sorry about that, folks. Hopefully this will move on now without further interruption. <laughs> yeah. Sorry you're not getting out of it this easy. This game sucks shit and you're all stuck here with me. Until you learn how to close Firefox. Don't tell them that, you moron! How else will we keep them watching us play this shitty game? Sucking ghost cock. And, like, yeah, anyway, I'm sorry. Probably going a little too far here. Yes, I'm playing Ghostbusters for the NES. Of course we've gone too far. Jesus. Yep, out of gas. Instead of have to drive to the gas station... OMG, look, it's right there. Why the frell is the gas station even on the map? I don't frelling know. Not a very well thought out design mecha mechanism, I guess, but... Yeah, as opposed to what? The car could, like, explode when it runs out of gas? I don't frelling know. Alright, so it's saying I got enough money to enter the Zool building, but I don't have enough money for the supplies I'm gonna need to, like, not get my ass killed when I get there. So, I've still got some more work to do so I can earn enough dough. Not a problem. We catch more ghosts until we do. Playing it safe on the streets, staying on the right, yep. So stupid cars don't hit me and I don't get sued by morons. Oh, damn. Shoulda. Oh. Nice! Walked right into it. Thank you very much. Thank you for sucking. Mostly I'm passing the ghosts. Since I don't have the vacuum, I can't get extra cash from sucking up those ghosts. I suck at doing that anyway. So, mostly I'm landing on them to slow them down. Because every time a ghost makes it to the Zool building, there's a big uh, deficit in the PKE energy. So, it slows down the clock a little bit doing that. Not that I'm going to be anywhere near 99.99 by the time I walk in there and hopefully whoop some gozer ass. But, it's good to take precautions when possible. Alright, drop the trap. Tag these little son bitches. Come on. Come on. Get down here. That's it. <laughs> you know, I'm going to get those super streams now. Let's go up to the shop. Sell my stupid old proton packs. Pick up the long range streamers. Should make life a little easier from here on. I want them for the end game anyway. Um. Sell those ones, get back over here, pick up the hyper beam. Yeah! That's the shit right there. Yeah. And out. Oh, 18 grand, and I can still enter the Zool building. What the hell is the number? 15 grand then? I don't know. Oh, my traps must be full. Alright, we'll pass by the old Ghostbuster headquarter. Good lord, that music is monotonous. You know, I would not be surprised if those of you listening in YouTube land, you're actually crazy enough to be with me, hadn't turned off the volume already. I might be a little disappointed that you can't hear my ugly voice, but I wouldn't blame you in the least. Worst 8-bit game music ever. Ray Park ought to be ashamed. Well, I mean, you know, it's not like he wrote this shit-ass 8-bit version of his great 1980s frickin' classic award-winning pop music but <laughs> somebody wrote it if I were him I'd have been angry that this infinitely looping what now for almost 10 minutes freaking infinitely looping verse and chorus line and such crappy 8-bit I mean there's good 8-bit music out there my first video was what Mega Man Mega Man 2 my Favorite, some of my favorite music is actually the music from Mega Man 2 and Street Fighter, you know. Anybody that's ever been to the website, ocremix.com, knows what I'm talking about. Or Castlevania by Konami. So there is no excuse for this crap. When you can have 
awesome 8-bit tracks like that. Then you take such a great song like the Ghostbusters theme and rend it out over and over in such crap quality. Ugh. Makes you want to cut your fucking ears off and stick them in a box. But I digress. I chose to play this game, so I'm not going to play like the angry video game nerd or something. I know that I am not fit to polish his boots or suck his cock, so... <laughs> James Rolfe, if you're out there, <laughs> love you, buddy. Absolutely love to get your autograph someday. But then, fucking wouldn't everybody. So, anyway, moving right along. Still busting stupid ghosts. Still doing the same fucking thing I do every day, Pinky. Sucking on ghosts. Get in there, you bitches. Yes. I think I've just about got what I need to get into the Zool building. I'm gonna need to get some bait, some ghost food. Um, think I need to keep the alarm. I don't know. It shouldn't matter. I want to keep at least 20 grand. 32. Yeah, so... One more job, why not? We'll finish out the traps we've got. We'll head over to GBHQ, empty them out. Not that we should even have to at that point. There we go. I believe my traps are full. I may be miscounting by one, since there's one right over GBHQ. Yep, they're full. <coughs> so, hell with it. Off we go. Let's empty them out, sell them. <laughs> Take them up to the shop and sell them full. <laughs> Thematically, dude, that would be weird. Yeah, don't ever open this box. There's an evil spirit in here that tried to, like, suck my face off. Yeah. Up to the shop we go. Should be ready to get my ass into the Zool building now. Well ahead of schedule so I can avoid any stompages from Stay Puff the Marshmallow Moron. Um... I don't even remember what the hell the sound generator does. I just... Anyway. And I used to play this all the time. I should just tell you that I don't know shit about it. Um... So yeah, what do I need? I need ghost food. When do I need it now? Boom, boom. Oh, I can only keep one? You're effing with me, right? Oh, that's sad. Maybe if I dump the traps? It'll let me have another? Now that is awkward. Now it'll let me have five of them. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, no, 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 no. That was gay. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't use that word. Alright, entering Zool Building, where I shall demonstrate my secret weapon. Because this game is horridly badtastic at this next scene. But if it's gonna suck, I'm gonna suck right along with it. See, to climb the stairs in here to get to the next floor, I have to press the A and B buttons. Oh, like over and over. Well, you know what? The hell with that. Turbo fire joysticks, my friends. There's cool stuff in the doors, right? Now, there's not, like, not even a reason to open those doors. Occasionally, they, like... I don't know if they give you anything good. I just know that there's occasionally a ghost in there. Oop. Bust this. Oh, crap. Start button. That should attract the ghosts to the food. Just wait patiently for little bastards to get the frell out of my way. And keep that food on screen as long as I can and get them as far away from me as possible. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Alright, that'll do. And then we book like Matt. Uh, uh oh. Now get off my balls. Get away. Go away. Ah, poop. I know I can't take a lot of hits. Okay, go get the food. Go get it, boys. Go get the food. Go get the food. It's a good ghost. Oh, please, just do it the hell out of my way. Oh, seriously. Well, I just lost Ghostbusters. So much for my secret weapon. Bad luck, you could not save the city of New York. The prediction 
will come true. Gozer has overcome our civilization. The game is over. Yeah. Well, sorry, folks. I was hoping to give you a cool ending. But that's what I get. All right. Well, thanks for watching anyway. Um, let me see if I can edit on a good ending there. Uh, just so you don't have to go out disappointed. Uh, here we are on our way back to Zool on another effort. Because I just don't feel like uh, uh, not showing you that this game actually has a proper ending. So, yeah. We're still cheating our balls off with Turbo Fire to climb stairs. Because Daddy don't like to fuck around. So, this time around, however, I'm trying the anti-ghost suit out. Hopefully that'll give me a little bit more longevity. A little bit better time making stupid mistakes. Alright. I've also got, I think, five packs of ghost food. So, should I need the distraction like right now? There we go. Anyway, yeah. So, I'm going to attempt to make the top here and show you guys the ending. Beat the snot out of Gozer, you know. The, uh, yeah, so. Ah, God damn it! So this part is, like, not remotely fair, which is why I'm being not remotely fair and using a turbo fire joystick. <laughs> yeah. This is how I did it as a kid, too, to be honest with you, because this is stupid. The only other point of this is getting up and with sore thumbs and being absolutely abhorredly stupid. Uh-oh. When I get up here, I'm going to drop more food. Get the hell out of the way. Alright, almost there. It's like, what, 23rd floor, if I'm remembering it right now. Uh, 22nd, 23rd, something like that. And boom, off we go. Getting there. 19th floor. Oh, Jesus. Oh, hell. God and baby Jesus, come on. This game sucks. I just want to get through this shit. There we go. Just waiting and waiting, wasting, wasting my freaking time, wasting, wasting time. Cause ghosts are freaking stupid and I don't want to get squished again. Get fucked again. I just can't wait to get up and fucked again. Alright. Final battle with Gozer. Up here is Gozer. Down here, should I need a break, is where I can see my timer, the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. If I need to, I can get extra time by shooting him back down to the bottom of the building. Problem with it is then I don't have as much time to get back to the top or the, to fight Gozer with, because he'll climb up to the top twice as fast if I actually shoot him enough. So we're gonna try to nail Gozer here in one round, in one one run of the clock. Oh Jesus! It is by no means gonna be easy. I don't remember whether or not she resets her damage every time I do that. I'm gonna try not to do it anymore. Ugh. Just take a hit and die, bitch. Good lord. She gonna be a bitch like that. Come on. Thank God for the hyper beams. Note in the fight that they're crossing the streams. Because we know that's bad, but as in the movie, it's the only way that they ever managed to beat the crazy bitch. Cannot shoot at Zul and V... Uh, what was his name? Victor, whatever. I don't remember the full name of the, the key master and the gatekeeper. I just know one was Zul. That was an important plot point of the movie. Vince Clortho, that was his name. <laughs> yeah. I should probably watch this again sometime near soon. You know, maybe get the horrid taste of this shitty video game out of my mouth with a good movie. Yeah, that would be a brilliant idea. I got a five-year-old daughter that's never seen it anyway, so... I'm betting she'd love the hell out of it. Come on. Take some damage, you piece of shit. Ah! I actually didn't want to come back down. Stay Puffed is halfway here already. Ugh. Oh. Jesus, this is the stupidest shooter in the stupidest game ever. Oh, and the stupid ghosts keep getting in the way and blocking shots. Of course, I'm sure that's what they're actually there for. Uh-oh. He's about two-thirds of the way up. I am going to have to blast him down to buy time, aren't I? Yes, I am. 
Because this bitch, much like a bad date, this bitch just will not go down. Oh, I said it. Oh, got her. Nice. Well, for the best end screen ever, congratulation. You've completed a great game. No, I haven't. Improve the justice of our culture. Somehow. Now go and rest our heroes. Yeah. So, and that's what you get for beating this piece of shit. But, you know, when I was a kid, I loved playing it. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I was desperate and I only owned like 12 Nintendo games when I first got the machine, and this was one of them. Honestly, I would still take the Atari version over this, because it mostly does the same shit on inferior hardware, and the ending is less of a pain in the ass. All you gotta do is run under the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man without getting stomped on, and it's over. You know, I have to put up with any stupid freaking climbing up the damn building with button press at a time shit. But anyways, so, um, yeah, I'm calling this good. I kept my word. I showed you the ending of the game. Uh, so, thanks for watching, folks. Thanks for putting up with my shit, including my horrid, nasty, sick voice. And, um, subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like anything you see. If you got any suggestions for other games or otherwise gripes, moans, groans, complaints, or, oh my god, compliments, feel free to leave comments in the box. And, uh, can't say enough. Thanks for watching.